Paul Buscal. Thank you, Mayor and Council, and everybody here tonight. Um, well, Clara covered a lot of what I was going to say. Um, I was going to speak on the issue with the water, um, which is a big deal in itself. Um, the cleanup, you know, we don't know what the toxics are. I mean, we do know what some are, but not what all of them are. So there is concern. Um, you know, Brisbane was incorporated in 1961 because of the uh, threat of being developed by Daly City on a large magnitude. And our founding fathers back then, you know, rallied the troops and um, we, incorporate, we incorporated and became a city for that reason. So <clears throat> I don't want to speak on the people that have been coming, the advocates for housing, but you know, I just learned a new term tonight was uh, mansplaining by one of the advocates, and I believe that uh, is Yimby. Uh, you're in my backyard. That's Yimby. That was a joke. Uh, so, you know, th this 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 is this is really um, a Brisbane issue, and you know. Um, Back when most of us, I'm sure, bought homes in Brisbane, we were middle class people and we could afford to buy a house. Um, myself and my wife couldn't afford to buy a house today in Brisbane. So I don't see how any housing in the Baylands is going to afford the opportunity for middle class people to buy homes. You know, affordable housing doesn't mean that they're affordable to the middle class. So, you know, that's kind of... You know, it's a, it's an issue that really needs to be looked at, and I'm glad Tony Verios brought it up tonight. Um, you know, we've all spent a lot of time on this Baylands issue. Um, the EIR is not, it's inadequate for multiple reasons. And so, you know, we're, we're concerned community, and, you know, we have talked about addressing the issues for teachers and um, municipal workers, police, firefighters, and others that come into this community to give them affordable housing. You know, the Parkside plan, they talked about um, industrial, doing mixed use. We have other issues out at uh, Sierra Point uh, where there could be um, condos put in. So, you know, we, you guys have come up with plans to meet our arena numbers. So it's not like Brisbane's not doing anything to address the housing issue. Um, you know, there's no guarantees that certain portions of that Baylands is going to be developed if there's housing approved. There's no guarantee that the interchange into 101 is going to be built. You know, we have old infrastructure here. You know, we can't support the masses that are about to descend on Brisbane. You know, they're talking about moving the Cow Palace. You know, I talked years ago about having an entertainment center in the Baylands and doing a land swap for the Cow Palace out in the, in the Baylands so the Baylands could do uh, development that Daly City wants to do on the Cow Palace property on a grand scale. You know, so there's other projects right here in our county that are going to be um, coming down the pipe. So... You know, we want to do a regional, uh, have a regional impact. And one of the biggest things that we could do as a community, as a region, and as the owners of the land is to allow Recology to expand. Because Recology has to truck all their stuff, dozens of truck trips a day to Fairfield. And South City Scavenger, who doesn't have the capacity because they can't expand on their property to do exactly what they want to do at Recology, they have to truck their stuff to Santa Rosa or Gilroy. So when we're talking about having an impact on our uh, carbon footprint, I think that would have the, the most beneficial impact. So I suggest that we go with the Planning Commission's recommendations, which were very well thought out by a lot of us in this community, including yourselves that have an understanding of what's been brought to date. You know, a lot of people that are on the outside looking in don't understand the totality of what we're faced with in the Baylands. So I appreciate